Hello again, my name is Justin Bryhop, and I'm here today doing a review of the CenturyLink uh, C1100T DSL modem. And uh, this one here is brand new. Um, I'm sending it back because of the reasons I'm going to tell you in the video. There's not a good modem to have, and, and I'll explain that. So here we go. So we're going to open this up, and uh, you got your high from CenturyLink, and there's a power cord in here and there's you know the the cords and stuff you need in here and then here's the actual modem and that's what we're going to be reviewing today so basically like i said this is the wow look at that it's got marks on it anyway this is a refurbished one and it's not a new one um and they're going to be sending me a new one that's a whole different model because of this problem so this is the one, I've had this same model in my room for a while, using it for internet, and I'll tell you the problems with it. So, this one's already in the, the plastic, I don't like to take the plastic off, because, I mean, it's used, but they, for some reason, they put plastic back on it, and it's got this little mark right here, I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, so you got your, your, uh, phone, DSL, four router ports here, and then a, a LAN or WAN, uh, white port, for whatever reason, so you can have up to five. Then USB reset power 12 volts in 1.5 amps. Okay, so here's the deal with this this modem and router here. Okay, it's wireless. It does work, but here's the deal. Okay, you see here on the bottom where there's this this vent that's open here. This uh, you got this um, this this vent. So this is the only vent in the bottom. The other stuff here is all sealed up. No vents on the sides, nothing like that, okay? Then the top here, you got all these vents like this, okay? And it's it's not open all across there. Some of them are shut. Okay, so here's the problem. When you set this modem down, you set it up, and you got it running, what happens is, is there's no airflow hardly happening from the bottom to the top, and it's only from the back part where the air can get in. So if any of that's blocked, and it is because it just is, um, then the thing heats up until you quit having internet, basically, and it still stays on. you got to reset it. And So I had to set mine on a laptop cooling fan, you know, like you set your laptop on, and force air through here in order to get it to work, okay? And so mine's still under warranty, so I'm sending it back, and they're going to be sending me another one. They're going to be sending me, they said, an Actutech C1000A, and that's supposed to be better and have better ventilation and everything and, and it's brand new it's not refurbished they said so i'm going to be putting this one back in the box and sending it back but i just wanted to do a review of this because it just they don't work um at least not for me i mean if your house is really 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 cold then they might work but even like i opened a window right next to this it's freezing cold outside and i got my room down to like 50 degrees and the thing still would cook without a fan on it. So, you know, just not a good deal, basically. Um, here we go. We'll get some more, some pictures here of this thing. And we'll turn it like this for you, so you can see it. And we'll take a picture at the top with all the vents. And, well, we won't take, yeah, we'll take a picture at the bottom, too, because... I don't think there's any private information there that anybody's going to care about. Alright. Well, thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And Jesus bless you. And please click the links in the description of the video.